So we're really working with the whole idea of a seamless relationship between guest and host. So when people arrive, the intention of our bath attendant is to anticipate every wish before it's ever voiced. And it's a very profound experience of hospitality that we bring to the table for our guests. So this is the enzyme bath, the cedar enzyme bath. This is the signature treatment here at Osmosis. This is what the whole business is built around. And of course, we're very excited to be celebrating our 25 year anniversary of introducing this totally unique form of heat therapy to the United States. What you have here is a mixture of the most fragrant cedar in the world and other wood species, along with rice bran and the enzyme catalyst. And this heats naturally to a delicious temperature. And uh, we actually carve a whole opening for folks and they, they, they lay down and, and get covered all the way up to their chin. And it's a really remarkable sensation. It supports you very evenly, it, it warms your whole body, it's like being in a cocoon. It has a fabulous therapeutic effect. Because what's happening here with the fermentation is you're immersing yourself in what truly can be called nature's purification process. Fermentation is the is mother of enzyme activity, so there's over 600 active enzymes in the bath. And there's over 3,000 different enzymes in every cell of living tissue. So you get this whole interactive process going on in your body with all these metabolic processes. And plain and simple, it's incredibly relaxing and restful because the work of your internal organs uh, is mimicked by this. So they get a rest because it's all affecting your body through osmosis definitely creates a yippee moment for people <laughs> because when you get out uh, you are so uh, it, it dilates every pore in your body and your whole cardiovascular system and it's a perfect setup for an absolutely fantastic massage you just can't beat the combination it's, it's, it's totally amazing very very fortunately we found this property in the old township of Freestone which had the commercial zoning grandfathered in in this largely uh, rural agriculture and residential area. So we were able to put our footprint down in a quiet, nice place, which is what we wanted to do. Now this property had had a really interesting history because uh, the guy that owned it was uh, really interested in old railroad cars and uh, antique cars and all kinds of other things that some would call junk. Anyway, um, when we arrived on the scene, this place was a really rough piece of property. Part of the story here is from day one, uh, we've been very resourceful and uh, we had all these timbers from the old bridge that were huge and uh, we remilled a lot of it and built the uh, pagodas in the back of the property and uh, our sign and the enzyme bathtubs and like a lot of the features that are unique to this place were actually built out of redwood that was the old bridge across the creek, including this structure here. Green has really been part of our story since day one. I come from a whole background of organic farming and gardening. So, you know, we have always looked at how we can be conservative and we have to be here because we're in a very water short area. So, you know, we want to have an experience for people when they come to a green spa like ours that they can really understand that it's possible to live with a different footprint, to live with a different consumption pattern, to live with a different attitude about what constitutes a good life and that it does not have to include waste. It does not have to include a lack of consciousness about how we are behaving as planetary citizens. And in fact, by corresponding with that global imperative for sustainability, you can actually have an enhanced experience and a more healthy one and feel better as it unifies with your own personal healing process.